Look at the class, look at the moves! Faker, what was that? Oh my god, I am a beast! versus Diana. Are we happy about that? I feel like Nautilus isn't going to be too bad into a Diana. Like, luckily, they don't have the damn Yasuo-Diana combo, because that is awful to face. So luckily, they don't have that kind of synergy. And the fortunate thing is that, other than, like, the Pantheon, these people are all pretty squishy. So if I land a good knockup, and then we just have, like, Kaisa, Senna, and... Mordecai's are just destroying them. Like, we should be okay. I do say should be okay. I'm going to try my best to be okay. But her clear is definitely going to be better than mine. But Nautilus doesn't have a bad clear. Like, his E does a decent amount of damage to uh, minions, and it's a AoE as well, so that's always good. But then the main one is the Titan's Wrath. 92 damage shield, and then 30 magic damage over 2 seconds to his target and all surrounding units. But you can also utilize it as an auto-attack reset. So you auto-attack, press the shield, which attacks again, and then you can attack the third time. So it's just a quick succession thing. Instead of charging up your auto against, watch. Bam, bam. Yeah, there you go. So you kind of get like a quick auto attack in which is just really damn good and luckily we've got a lot of AoE so I think I should just be able to clear this out pretty quick okay not too shabby. Um, so Diana's probably going to be starting blue and then going over to her red. So I might meet her at the uh, Scuttle Crab up here. That's always a possibility. Why do we not know where the Akshan is? Okay. At least we ended up finding him. My dilemma is the moment that the Akshan is not there, I have to worry about him potentially invading me. Because, like, if him and the Diana show up at my blue buff, that would be really problematic. Okay. So Mordecai's is pretty far pushed up. So I kind of want to be here to potentially counter gank if the Diana comes this way. Oh, you got to come to me, buddy. Nope. I really want Zed to come down here. Okay, so instead of Zed coming to me, I'll go to him. <laughs> I guess that's just... Alright. <laughs> if that's the way it's gonna be, that's the way it's gonna be. As long as we help each other, it doesn't matter who goes where. Just so long as we help each other. Okay. So that's not bad. Get an assist. And Zed gets a kill. Alright. Um, so not really a whole lot for me to take in her jungle. That kind of makes sense. She probably went B already. Whoop! Okay. Really nice just to put a ward up there because now we know where the Diana is. Just a helpful little piece of information. Oh, God. Never understand why some supports are that far up when they don't have their AD carry with them. Right? It's like, what were you, what were you going to accomplish by being up that far? I wonder if 
I can potentially find this guy. Not looking like it. Oh. Hmm. Oh, they know. I think I peed a little. <laughs> Jeez, okay. So clearly they have that warded. We could probably push them off of this, right? Oh, not if Zed disconnects! For fuck's sake, can we really not kill him? Dude, that was the worst fucking time for Zed to disconnect. Like, it's actually unreal how bad that timing was. Like, he disconnects right when we're, like, starting up the fight with the, uh, the Diana at the Dragon Pit. Like, that's insanity. I mean, it ended up working out fine. I wanted to try to smite the dragon to stay alive, but the Diana did more damage than I was expecting. She already has a blasting one. But, like, Zed then picks up three kills, or sorry, two kills. We do get the dragon in the end, so I'm, I'm certainly not complaining about what happened. Okay. So I'm just gonna take these guys, and then, of course, go back to my red. And then we just start the whole clear again. Mm. Uh. 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 Yeah, I mean, it was unfortunate, but he really made a comeback on that. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really going to complain. I think I'm just going to clear these raptors, and then I'm going to go B again. And what am I going to get in terms of boots? Probably Ninja Tabai? Because, like, Pantheon and... Yeah, Pantheon. And it's also, like, Diana does auto attack. And the Lucian, too. Yeah, let's just do that. Oops. Do that. There we go. Okay, now we do the top side. So nice. Almost a 30 CS lead for the Zed. That's absolutely insane. Um, kind of even in the jungle so far. Yeah, bot lane's the one that we're, uh, we're struggling with a bit. Okay, luckily I'll be able to clear that. Okay. So, I mean, at least we cleared the ward, so there's nothing around here. Oh, but Pantheon roamed mid. Yikes! I think it's probably just because Mordekaiser has, like, a really solid freeze going on. Kind of sucks for the Pantheon. Yeah, Mordekaiser's just, like, holding him there. That's sick. And now we play the Long Gone. Pantheon's bound to come back at some point, right? 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 What the hell is this Pantheon? Bruh! <laughs>
Haha, <laughs> buffered it. Get out of here. Okay. Yes, I did. Oh. Whoa, buffered it again. Let's go. Whoop. See ya. Why didn't the turret block that? Wait, what? Oops. Okay, held him down for long enough. Oh, so just an interesting thing for you folks who wanted to learn Nautilus. Um, you can buffer your uh, Q. So if I throw my Q out before I get stunned, and you saw I did it twice there. I threw my Q out knowing that Pantheon was going to stun me. So I managed to throw my Q out first before the stun occurred. And that meant that even though I was stunned, my anchor still connects with the wall and still pulls me away. So the stun doesn't really matter. And then I did the same thing with the um, Diana ultimate. So it's just kind of one of those little tricks of the trade. That can actually make a very big impact. Okay. Because, yeah, if he uh, stunned me, I was just, like, straight up dead. Same thing with the uh, Diana ultimate actually connects. Oh, do they know, though? Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Whoa! Oh, the turret doesn't block it because it doesn't take damage? I didn't know that, actually. It makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I thought it was all turrets. But yeah, I guess since it can't take damage because turret 1 isn't down, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, I actually didn't know that would be the interaction. Okay, so I'm kind of just the tank right now. I'm kind of okay with my score, even though it's a negative KDA. I'm mainly okay with it because I'm a tank. Nice. And the good news is... Zed roams and gets a kill, but I also get to clean up his wave, so we're not wasting anything here. Perfect. I suppose Akshan was in the top side. Uh-oh. Oh, Morkas is pretty big, though. I don't think he's going to be big enough, though. Nope. Hmm, okay. So Pantheon's at 2, 2, and 1. I still think the is dominating. Like, he's got, like, a 40 CS lead. And same thing with the Zed. Like, they're just doing a lot of roaming. I wonder where that's going to travel to. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe that that hook missed. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that that hook missed. Because he was a dead pantheon right there. Okay. I kind of want to, like, wait for this Mordekaiser. 
So I really want the Pantheon to come back. No, but... Man, Mord, I was, like, planning on this for you. Shut down. This is the long con, people. The long con! This guy's gonna say rip to me. Well, like, rip to you. with that damn Ooh! boy do you think I care do you, do you honestly do you think I care You think I care about you? You're nothing to me. <laughs> okay. Now I really want to just clear this, go B, and then get ready for that dragon. Because this will be our third Drake. Nice. Okay. I played Silas yesterday because of your skin giveaway and I had no clue what I was doing. He's a tough champion. do the Fimble Winter. I don't know why. But I really want to do Fimble Winter because I never build Fimble Winter on anybody. I also hate the name. Gotta go get my Fimble Winter on. Oh, if we could catch up the Diana here, it would be so good. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Doesn't really matter how many times I die. I'm kind of just meant to be a CC bot anyways. I am so good on this champion! Come on! Oof! What are these plays, though? Sheesh! <laughs> Damn! I'm so glad the Zed and the Senna followed up on that. It was definitely a ballsy play. Like, to continue that dive, but man, like, I just pinged my ultimate. Knowing that I had that up in just a couple seconds, it just made so much sense to go for it. Okay. We use my smite on this red buff. And then we'll clear the raptors, and then I think once again we'll just go B, spend our hard-earned gold. And like still, 0, 2, and 6, not like the best score on the planet, but once again, really doesn't matter all that much. Did I just see somebody here? I did. Get in range of smite! Get in range of smite! Doesn't matter! Woo! And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you go Hex Flash. No minions! 
Oh! <laughs> well, can't believe I didn't get hit on that one. Okay. Amanda Aruda, hope you have a great day too. Oh man, why is this Swain so damn fed? Damn it! <gasps> that didn't even connect with the wall?! Okay. Kind of flustered about that. Nice. He's got him. Huge shutdown going to Shen. Three, two, one. What? He died? What is going on with these freaking hooks? Perfect. I'll take it. Oh, and Zed with the cleanup. Let's go. Okay. Woo. Ah, oh, damn, we're not actually gonna go for him? Okay. Oh man, that Pantheon's ability to stop all that damage with that E. That really sucks. Yeah, I've been robbed of a couple hooks. Not a ton, though. Like, I'm, I'm still pretty happy about how the game's been progressing, but... A couple of those, though. A couple of them seen a little sus that they missed. So this would be Soul, and that would actually be pretty good. 10% movement speed increased to 50% for 6 seconds after casting the ult. Like, that's really good for people like Mordekaiser, Zed, and, um, Kai'Sa. Especially Mordekaiser, because Mordekaiser is literally just going to jump over the wall. Gotcha. Oh! Proto Belt away from that one, girl. Damn it, Lucian's back. Okay, let's just do this. Did he just dive right back in? He did. Okay. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, that was a really sweet pick on that Diana. She tried to rocket belt away from my hook, but hook was a little bit too long on that one. Minions! Okay. So yeah, overall, this is actually going pretty well. 0, 2, and 12. I mean, the good thing is, like, by me not getting any kills, it means that I'm getting my, uh, my team fed. Like, Zed's got 11 kills, Mordecai's got 3, and, uh, kaiser has got 7. So... I'm pretty pleased with myself that I haven't stolen a single kill yet. I still have no idea if this is going to be a good purchase or not. Kaisa can red because I don't need it. And Kaisa's doing really well, so why not? Oh, oh god, that's why not. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> so apparently they were all waiting at that red buff. Okay guys, we gotta stop walking into them though. Like we know that all of them are there. Oh, but nothing's up. Hmm. An ally has 
What are we doing, team? Um... Can't really do much here. Okay. Not horrible. Okay, I've got smite for this, so this is fine. Oh god. Hmm. Wow, man are we throwing this. Holy The hell are we doing? Man. That was kind of a brutal set of circumstances. Especially if we can kill this Swain, we need to start going for things like Baron. Everyone go Baron. Everyone go Baron. They don't have any vision on it. They like, have no vision. Their main fed person is dead. Like... I'll take the potential smite fight. Oh, there it is, baby. Woo. Okay. I am happy with that Baron call, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy with that. Okay, Elder Dragon is spawning. That's a terrifying prospect. I feel like I need this Fimble Winter. Like, it's a weird time to go B, but... I can make it back to the Dragon fairly quickly. Yeah, I'm on... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And he's off. Whoop. I'm a coming team. You won't have to wait long. Whoa. I am the hook boy. Oh my god, I am a beast! Dude, my Nautilus is on point!
Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, we should definitely just try to force a fight. Nice. Okay. I mean, you gotta fight with Elder. That's sort of the Oh my god, the Twain is gigantic. How did we not get the execute on this guy? Really? And he just revived two of his people. Do we lose? No, they don't have TP. Yeah, they don't have TP, and Pantheon doesn't have his um, ultimate anymore. So, okay, we didn't lose the game there. I can't believe we didn't execute that uh, auction. Like, that really sucks. Okay, Swain is hurting like a mofo. What do we build against him? Could finish off the uh, thorn mail. I'm thinking maybe Force of Nature seems like the right idea. Yeah, this is definitely the right call. Uh-oh. Oh, that is exactly what we don't need right now. Why was Zed so far forward? This has turned into a very interesting game, hasn't it? Your team has destroyed Got him! <laughs> Where are you going, big guy? Where are you going, Akshan? Ladies and gentlemen, smite for the win! Oh, that was so clean, though. Okay, we need Mordecai to stay back for the potential Pantheon ult. It doesn't look like Mordecai is going to actually stay. Never mind. This has turned into one hell of a game. I'm actually gonna buy a an elixir. Because I kind of feel like this is gonna be like the last fight. I feel like whoever wins this fight at the Elder Dragon, the game's just gonna be done. Andalar, thanks so much for the five months, eh? Five months learning, keep the vibes coming. Oh, no problem at all. I will happily keep these vibes coming. Don't catch out the naughty boy. Okay, we need them to walk into us. Ah, 
That's a huge amount of damage. There it is! Catch on the Swain into the ultimate and just going in on the Lucian. You gotta love it. Oh, I don't even know who to give it to. I'm gonna give it to Zed. I think Zed played really damn well that game. S minus, look at me go. In terms of the damage, I don't think I did much. Yeah, 16,000 damage. I'm fine with that. I was literally just meant to be a hook bot during that. I'm cool with it. 1,200 damage coming from the uh, Aftershock. That's nuts. How much self mitigated damage? That's what we're looking for. There. I did my part. I walked in, I ate all the damage, and I gave my carries kills. You're welcome, team.